Hi, my name is Dylan, and in this video I'll be covering Elementary and Intermediate Algebra Chapter 5.1. In this video, we'll be talking about graphing an equation after solving for y, and the difference between one variable and two variable equations. So, it's very difficult to graph an equation that's not in slope-intercept form. Therefore, we often convert equations into slope-intercept form so we can graph them. So let's graph 3x plus 3y is equal to 6. So we first need to convert this equation into slope-intercept form. So, you've, so the equation 3x plus 3y is equal to 6. Um, we want to get the y by itself on one side, so we subtract 3x from both sides. <coughs> and now we have 3y is equal to negative 3x plus 6. We, do, we um, divide both sides by 3, and we'll get y is equal to negative x plus 2. And we can easily graph this equation now. <coughs> so finding the intercepts. To find the intercept of an equation, the y-intercept of an equation, plug in 0 for x and solve the resulting equation for y. To find the x-intercept of an equation, you do the opposite. You plug in 0 for y and you solve the resulting equation for x. If we use the two intercepts and one more point on the line, we can, use, con we can connect them to graph the equation without converting the equation to slope-intercept form. So one variable equations versus two variable equations. A linear equation with one variable only has one solution. For example, x plus 5 is equal to 7. x has to equal 2, otherwise the equation isn't true. x can't equal 3, it can't equal 4, because the equation is not true otherwise. However, a linear equation with, a two variable, with two variables has an infinite amount of solutions. This is why it's a line, that's, this is why the graph is a line. So if I can plug in 0 for x and I'll get 5 for y, or I can plug in 100 for x and I get 105 for y, and I can keep plugging in x values and I'll get a different y value. There's, so, there's an infinite amount of solutions because there's an, I can plug in an infinite values of x and I'll get an infinite values of y. And there's a y value for every x value plugged in, and the line goes on to infinity. So this is why it has an infinite amount of solutions. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something from this video.